I'm in what is called graffiti streets, kind of like in the old quarters of Chongqing. And this is where all the graffiti is, we'll call it isolated. And you'll see as I'm walking down here, all the graffiti on the walls and the pipes. And these are a lot of old brick buildings. And then there's a fine arts institute just behind these brick walls. Now, this road, or this area, as you can see all the artwork is done there, all the old buildings goes as far as about 1.2 kilometers in a straight direction. And it consists, hi, how are you? Hi. And it consists of about 800 artists that put this together and about 37 buildings were painted, spray painted, modern, modified to whatever the desire of the artist wanted. Now you have the Berlin Wall in Berlin and another famous uh, graffiti bridge in Australia but this is one of the biggest in China and the biggest in the world. I'm gonna get to the bottom of what these little cars are all about because I haven't really seen them anywhere else in town except in uh, this area. We'll call it the graffiti area of Chongqing. I saw some ladies playing badminton over here. Maybe we can have a game. Hi. A lot of little art stores you can see. I mean, every second store here is all uh, art supplies. You can feel it's very cool down here. I mean, look at all these buildings, all the different colors. See what everybody's doing on a Saturday afternoon. Now these kids seem to be in, I'm not sure, it's a ballet class or something, but there's a guy on the drum. And maybe that's why they're so good at the floor routine on the Olympics. But I gotta find out what these little cars are all about. They're certainly cute. Can you tell me what these cars are? Why these cars are so special? My name is Tata. Okay, nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you too. What is the story about these cars? Oh. These, these here. These? Yeah. Uh, this is a Chongqing taxi. That's a Chongqing taxi, really? Yes, yes. <laughs> we call it a Bong Bong. Bong Bong? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. And right. how come you got a basket on your back here? Uh, I'm walking... You, the delivery? River. River? Yes. Oh, what's at the river? Uh, I'm an artist. Artist? Uh, yes. So what... Do you, uh, you painting or are you? Uh, sculpture. Sculpture? Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Oh. Are you finished now? It's... Oh, uh, okay, yeah. You want... <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Canada. Hi. Hi. Come on. Hi. 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 Bye. See you. Thank you. Yeah, thank Bye. you. These are Chongqing taxis. Bong bong. Bong bong. They're called bong bong. Oh, and look at that, guys. He's got a Snoopy seat covers. I'm very jealous. I think we should take a ride in one of those. Anyway, he was coming from the river. He was sculpturing something down from the river. As I was saying before about China, you know, in the West we have this vision of this very closed communist country that. Uh, you know, is repressed and not allowed to do anything. Well, they've designated an entire area so that artists can express their work. They put one kilometer, 37 buildings up, invited 800 people into, kind of interesting, because in all of Chongqing, I haven't seen any graffiti until here. So are they as closed off as we think they are? Well, each day that I'm spending here in China, I'm learning a little bit more about this culture and I think it's just us in the West and other parts of the world we just don't understand we have a big misunderstanding we're a, we're a young country compared to this one I would sit down and join those guys for cards but I'd probably get my ass kicked 
Well, it must have took quite a bit of time to put this all together. I mean, these entire buildings are painted completely from top to bottom. And it goes on for about 1.2 kilometers in total distance. Even though in the West sometimes just hearing the word communist gets the hair up on the back of our necks and we kind of don't really understand this place. And that's why it's good to come and put your feet on the ground here and to walk into areas like this that you don't really find on the internet. You know, you can read about them a little bit, but you don't really find out too much about them until you put your feet on the ground. Are we brave enough to take one of these little bomb bonds around the area? A lot of these little cars. I'm gonna see if we can get into one. These are the newer versions. It looks like they got the, the roof rack said if you're an artist, if you're an artist and uh, you have some artwork or something that looks like these cars are well equipped for you. These are obviously the newer versions, the brand new versions. This is a 2018 version it looks like with the one wheel. You can see how the wheels on the how the wheels are in the front. They're on a single wheel on the front there. Which one do you want to get? The green guy? <laughs> the yeah. green guy. Oh, the okay. Rider. Yeah, he does yeah. look. Hi. Ni hao. Ni hao. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right, we're going in. Okay, roll down your windows. Are right, you sure? Come on in. Up. Oh. oh yeah. So apparently we're in something called a bonbon. It's really loud in here, but this guy is just gonna zip us around. Gotta love the smell of petrol. One of the most vintage cars, but why not? Okay, thanks, man. <laughs> okay, she, she, thank you very much. Well, that was a blast from the past. There's our friend. Thank you very much, sir. The pride of China lives on. So this is uh, actually the art gallery. I looked. I was looking for. It's called 501 Art. Nature, person, furniture, right to the point. So just a lot of little interesting cafes here. I mean, this one here, it's got a motorcycle theme to it. High energy motorcycle bike. M&M is here. Or this is called a moon cafe. You can see very quirky, funny stuff here. That's what the Chinese seem to follow. <laughs> And once they've studied hard, worked hard, made money, more and more, they eat well, sleep well, have fun day by day. Hello? Hi, man. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. How are you? Hey, ha, ha, ha. You're the boss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. Ni hao. So here you make coffee, tea, cocktails. Oh, nice. And here you're visiting? Yes. Tourist? Yes. And we what do you think? Um, I think the weather is bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no sunshine, no fog yeah, no, city. No, no, no blue sky. But it's, it's the culture here and the music is good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a singer. Ah. I'm a uh, sing in the in the bar. Yeah. Oh really? What kind yeah. of music? Uh, Cantonese, Cantonese song. song. Yeah. Come on, sing us a little bit of something. Mm. And I'll <laughs> sing you one after. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
va. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Yeah, now, your turn. Oh, your boy. turn. And today, till tomorrow, and the days that will follow, but it's never the same when you feel you're insane. Where the bed, where you name, there's a plan that was made, but it's better to be. The hopes go straight. Wow. Okay. So good. You must be a <laughs> famous singer. No, I don't know. <laughs> Have you eaten Chongqing Hot pot. Oh. Have you tried? Too spicy. I tried too spicy. Too spicy, too spicy for, for you. Yes. Oh my god. You can you can order spicy less less pot spicy pot, yeah. and then you can order uh the the the, the how to how to say it? It's inside is like this. So is this to sit down? Is this uh, not spicy? Spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. spicy. Yeah, yeah. Not, I like this. This is not uh. spicy and this is spicy. You mm -hmm. can order this. You're very organized. How did you get so organized? You know, all the places to go and everything. Yeah, we chat, we we chat. We can't go to your sites and see and understand. So we go to all the English sites. Yeah. So we we look up these bars. Oh, no bars. Okay. Uh, no karaoke clubs. Oh, really? No karaoke clubs? Big <laughs> huge gap. Yeah, and this is just yeah. nothing. And then we arrive here and then Maybe. they're like, oh, yes, we have this. <laughs> Nobody understand us. Taxi don't want to take us. <laughs> we don't know where we're going. <laughs> But everybody's been very nice here. We don't know what we're eating. <laughs> you can just drop in some, some place and then We are try lost in. all the time. Lost. Yeah. Where are we? Yeah, no, it's fun. <laughs> so what is your favorite part of the city? This part? Uh, maybe Hongyadong have you built? Have you been Hongya down? Cave? Yes, 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 yes. Hongya Cave. Yeah, yesterday. Yes, in the night. It's okay, I think it's, that's all. Look at this. Hot, hot pot magnet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I heard that you have been, uh, you have from, you're from Bangkok. Bangkok. Oh, yes. I have been to here, you know, Bangkok Art and Culture. Oh, yes. Oh, I think that's a really good place. Yes. Bangkok Art, Art and Culture Center, BAC. Yes. Yeah. I have been there and take so many photos yeah. there. Uh, we are in from Guangzhou, uh, Guangdong, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, Guangdong. We've been there, uh, right? Maybe it's yes, not this type. Guangdong is a place that uh, much more modern, modern city. Modern, yeah. yeah, modern city. And maybe we can we can enjoy a slow life here. We can see many international places there. Are Chongqing people? Uh, maybe they are more uh, like leisure life. Uh, okay. I think just that this could be an experience here. And uh, it already is. This is a screwdriver door lock system. The number one worry when I get in a place like this is to balance and not to fall in. Not to have anything else fall in while you. Oh, this is interesting. This is the. Flushing system, it's a little hose. He's very good, very nice owner. He likes taking some nice photos of me. <laughs> and maybe one day I will get up on the wall, the wall of fame. Looks like an alcohol test. <laughs> <laughs> Should I blow into this? Yeah.